Sleepy and creepy, creepy like you're hiding. Who's been hiding, lying, crying, flying, zigzagging? The Chinese did. That's what they say. Chip chap chip helium three. <laughs> that spicy shrimp ceviche gotcha no I ate a pizza too and that's what did me in oh for god's sake a big self rising crust dough ball Yummy. in my belly I had, I had mushroom ravioli that sounds tasty too it was pretty good. Yeah, I was hungry today, man. I didn't eat. All I had was some, like an apple and an orange and some water and a couple iced teas and yeah. I was fucking famished. Yeah, you come home and you're just ready to fucking eat the goddamn countertop. And then I drank some booze and I was all lit and I was like, well, <laughs> I had to go out and go shopping because I couldn't find anything worth eating here. <laughs> all lit up. Yeah, I got all lit up and went out and got some gas and then went to the grocery store. <laughs> then I started I started telling the the cashiers like the dirty secrets of the of the grocery world. And they're like, I don't give a fuck. Just go away. <laughs> yeah, like, who is this fucking weirdo? I'm like, ah, yeah, yeah, fucking man. clown. Yeah. Now I was telling them about Papa Engel. <laughs> There's a, a grocery store chain, and the founder's name, they called him Papa Engel. That's not and, cult-like at all. And I guess he liked the. There's this woman that used to work for him that I worked with at a different company, and she was telling me the story. She's like, yeah, things were better back when Papa Engel ran things. You know, but ever since he died, it ain't, it ain't been the same working there. He used to give you a little a little goosing in the tushy at the Christmas party. and Well, she was saying, though, that he used to like the, the young boys, like the, the baggers and the cashiers, and he would actually proposition them and give them money for favors, sexual favors. Ooh. And he had, like, she was sitting at a weird, like, penthouse, like, up above one of the stores, like, one of the main stores. Uh-huh. Where he'd have, like, these encounters with these young boys. Wow. And I guess one of them, one of them tried to, uh, brought up a lawsuit against them, and he ended up just, like, disappearing. Like, <laughs> never made it to the court. He's like, I'm gonna <laughs> fix you, Papa Engel. <laughs> It'll never make it to court. Yeah. I was like, damn. He has a, a pretty dark history. Fuck. True. I thought I was just grocery shopping. Yeah. Out there all fucked off. Anyway, I, I was telling them the story about it, and they're just like, Jesus Christ. They get all fucking like, wow. They're like, this that's is awkward. Couple, yeah, that's what a couple drinks does. Yeah. Yeah. Makes you a creep. I, I was going to bust out my card, you know. I busted out the card for the Papa Ingalls. And uh, I was like, you guys know what that is, right? And they're like, no. I was like, what? I was like, there's like 500 of them. But I guess I, they're all on like, the East Coast. Like, you know? Everybody gather around. It's time for Uncle Jess to tell you yeah. a little <laughs> story about it. Little grocery store. Fucking whatever kids. the fuck it's called. 
And they're like, Jesus Christ. In your in, in your mind, in your mind, they're all like, it's like soft, glowy light and shit. Dewy, dewy afternoon glow light. And fucking they're all just wrapped with attention, going, really? In reality. Yeah. And then you smash cut to reality, and it's just they're all fucking like rolling their eyes. Like, who gives a fuck? Yeah, one of them's like, so? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, uh, who gives a shit? I, I, I touch kids all the time. Uh, here's your here's your change, mister. Do you want to move on? The line's waiting on your ass. You're like, huh? It's all fucking... It's like, ha, 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 coming to, like, what? Yeah. Probably. Mm. That's probably closer to reality. But, you know. <laughs> I'm a legend in my own mind, you know. It's, listen, every man's life touches so many other lives. Especially Pop Angle's life. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, touched by <laughs> men, touched many. Many, many young baggers and fucking cart runners. Lives were forever changed by their interaction with Papa Engel. He, he meets him out by the cart corral and he's like, hey, he's like, what? You like your job here? They're like, well, yeah, it's okay. Do you want to? Like, do you want to keep it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make an extra twenty today? Sure. What do I gotta do? Oh, just meet me up there. Oh, take that staircase up the side of the building. They're like, wow, this is really nice up here. Yeah, take a seat on the couch. Here, want a drink? Here's some candy, some pop, <laughs> some pop. whatever you want. <laughs> Some roofing all in it. Ice cream. <laughs> He's got all the food treats up there. Kids fucking snacks and shit. What's this all about? Why? Kind of weird up here, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's kind of cool. You got all the stuff I like. You know, I am a kid. I can relate. You little son of a Evil son of a bitch. Ice cream sandwiches. Yeah. They're magic ones. <laughs> they make you float away from the neck down. <laughs> <laughs> but from the neck up, you're still very much with the situation. <laughs> like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, I'm. No. He's like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm fucking you. <laughs> what? Body just. Fucking paralyzed. But these wide awake. No! <laughs> Why would you choose to do this? Why not just Bill Cosby me? Fuck it. He's like, oh no. I want to see the, the, the expression on your face change. He's like, but it won't. I can't feel anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like you just got that fucking um Oh what the fuck is that shit that women inject in their faces? Oh the Botox. Botox, yeah, botulism toxin toxin. Yeah, it's like jellyfish fucking stingers or something. Yeah. Jesus Christ, weird. Right. Oh, it gets all puffy and fat. Yeah. Big, big luscious lips and cheeks. Uh, and some in the can't, ass. Can't just check some Botox into their lips. Another pecker head. <laughs> wow. They call me. Bringing a small circle to the fucking third vaccine. Oh, uh, <laughs> They call me Mr. Mushroom. <laughs> I'm a front loader. Excitement, all the excitement's up front. <laughs> <laughs> Just a big dumb head on a th really thin shaft. Like a straw. <laughs> like a straw. It's a big, it's a big rock on the end. Like you like. Apple sized rock on the end of it. Yeah, it's just curved over from the weight. Yep. So you That's got, disgusting. 
So, oh my God. so you got to find the right right position and stuff in order to maximize it. <laughs> something where she's laying down on her stomach or something. <laughs> that way, Mr. Mushroom can do his magic. Yep, hit that spot. <laughs> That's right. It doesn't exist. It's not real. <laughs> All the women are like, "Yeah, you don't you, just because you don't know where it is." <laughs> squirt, squirt. Listen, right, squirt you're getting goals. disgusting. It's past your bedtime. I know. I'm trying to go to sleep. Jesus, I'm gonna have nightmares now. <laughs> that uh, angle's gonna be in my nightmares. <laughs> All right, Splifficles. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for chilling with us and uh, doing stuff and things and other things, too. So do what you got to do. Just be you. Fucking scream inside your heart and have fun with life and uh, slap people around when they need it. And sometimes even when they don't. What do you think, Splifficles? Power off. Good night, Matilda. Yeah. I concur. Hmm. Deep. All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. We'll catch you next time. Adios. Take it light. Be nice.